Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. The American is 28, the Brazilian is 33. The reach is identical. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sandhagen! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 29 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Let's do it. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. Right hand punches the clinch. Now goes to the uppercut. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice one-two combination there. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. 
Ronaldo going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Circling towards the left now. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Stop. Beautiful level change. Leads to the takedown. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, right to the mount. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Aldo's got the full mount. Just over two minutes, round one. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. You got to scramble. You got to scramble. I want to see a scramble. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That's a big strike right there. Nice defense there, huge block. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller though, he said. Switch knee lands to the body. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Effective punch there by Aldo. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Round two next. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round and thank the heavens that elbows are legal in modern-day mixed martial arts. Man. I mean, he is landing these at a devastating clip. He is landing these at will. His opponent needs to get back to space, or he's going to be going to sleep very soon. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Can't take many of those, you better check. Slips the punch. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Bleeding from his cheek now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but no! Oh, huge right hand! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Alba. Working out of the half guard here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, right in the mount. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Aldo's back in full mount. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. And back to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. 15 seconds remain in the round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Takedown defense holds up. Big kick lands. Straight right, oh. he misses. Oh. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Left hand punch from the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Lands the right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Got clip with the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, that cut has really opened up. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the jab now, no good. Effective strike there by Aldo. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Aldo's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about.